Hello, in this video, we'll be learning how to make an Android password vault app, a password safe app, rather. So, we'll just start by creating a new project and we'll name this password safe. Okay, so I'll click on next and I'll be targeting an API level, minimum level of 17. Then I will click next again. And we will be using an empty activity so that we get to know how all those other features are implemented. So in creating a password vault or safe app, the first thing is user authentication. You will need the user to log in into the account before he or she is able to get access to his passwords for various websites or should I say apps. So we will name this uh, main activity login. So uh let me clean this up so login with a capital l <coughs> sorry for that and i'll click on finish you can see our project has been created and the next thing we would like to do is create another activity that will be directed on to when our user enters a valid username and password so we will create a new activity going new activity then an empty activity then we'll name this activity main because that's going to be our main page that we are directed onto. So we'll let uh, Android Studio create this activity for us. And as you can see, it's running or creating the activity. So indexing our activity is done. So that's the main activity. So let's open up the login activities we created at the beginning of the video. Okay, so this is the login XML. And this is the main so let me rearrange this okay so now in the login xml we would like to implement some things okay so i'm using a constraint layout so if you're not having constraint layout or if you type it in here and it's not working just go to your gradual script and the second build or gradual which has a module of app then you should add this line to your project so implementation com dot android or support constraint colon constraint hyphen layout colon one point one point zero so when you add it it should be working in your project so when you come to the login activity i will be adding a linear layout and i'll let its width match the parent and its height to wrap the content then i will give it an orientation of vertical then okay i will add an edit text so an edit text with which uh, with much uh, parent and height wrap content and i will give this edit text an input type of text because that's where our username is going to be entered and a hint to show our users what we require them to enter there so username then I will give this an ID or oh. okay I'll give it an ID of username then what I'll do is all I'll do is I'll have to copy this code and then paste it then i'll change the id of this one to password because that's where our password will be entered and this will be text password and then the hint will also be password okay so very nice i'll give okay so it's looking very nice so i'll add a button and this button's width will match the parent and it's high to wrap the content. Then I'll give it a text of uh, login. Okay, so the text is going to be login. And let's move to the design and constrain this. Then so I click on the login, then I constrain the bottom to the bottom of the page. Then the right to the right, left to the left. And then I'll click on my linear layout, then I'll constrain the button to the top of the login bu button, then this to the right and this to the left. 
and I'll constrain the top to the top of the page then I'll get to shift this a bit up like this okay so we are done with our layout now let's go into Java and program this layout so first we want to create a private reference in this uh, Java and in this class in this login class so I'll say button edit text uh, private edit text then I'm having to edit text I'll make the first one the password how should I say okay password and then username okay so I'm having to then I will also initialize my uh, button so button it seems the button didn't have uh, the button didn't have an ID so I'll name this login so let me go back and check if it had an ID so text so the button had an ID so let me change it to login then I'll come to my login.java and I'll initialize this in the onCreate method so I'll say password is equal to an edit text then I will find this view by ID then it will be r dot id dot okay that's id dot password then i'll just duplicate this code then i'll change this to username now change this to username then i will do same for the button so i'll say login equals button then i'll find the view by id now make it r dot id dot uh, login okay so I'm done with this and now what we are going to do is we are going to get this username and password whenever the user presses this login after the user presses the login we are going to get the username and the password and we are going to compare so let's see what's up with our design okay so we'll be getting the username and password so let's just jump into the login the activity and add one more thing to the button so this is the on click so on click then we'll pass in a function so we will say validate so we are going back into our okay so let me just change this that's why our constraint layout is joking so I'll just change this to login then let me go back to the login.java so over here I'll call public void and I'll call validate I'm now creating that uh, so I'll say view view then I will do this so we have to make some imports just press alt and enter when you see this thing underlined so alt enter then you get an automatic import so now we come to the login.xml whenever we click on this button that validate function is going to be called okay so now let's come into this function and let's do some cool stuff here so what we are going to do when this function is click this we are going to get a string we are going to uh, make a new string then we'll call it a username or let's say uh, let's make this one name that is the name the user entered is equal to username dot get text so we are getting the text from what the user entered and then okay what's the error okay so it's an editable so we get the text then 
we'll take it to string okay so now we are cool and good to go so i'll duplicate this then i'll make this pass then i'll change this to password dot get text dot to string so what's really happening is when we click on the button we are going to get the input in the passwords edit text and the username edit text and we are saving it in a string called name and password okay so the next thing we will do is we will check if it is true so we we'll say if name dot equals so if name is equal to something like youtube and so this is how we do end pass dot equals so if the password is also equal to let's say h a h a that's haha -ha. then we would like to do something else that means the use the username and password entered is wrong we would like to do something so let's first deal with the else so the else we want to let the person know that it's wrong so we will just use those dot make text then we will set the context to this then we will tell the person that okay password or username incorrect okay so then we'll come here then we'll say toast dot make text uh sorry toast dot length short then we have to show this or else it won't show up okay so this was going we are going to do whenever the password is incorrect and this is what we are going to do when it is correct we are going to take the user to the next page so this is done with an intent intent so i'll say intent intent then i'll import the intent then i'll say this is equal to a new intent then i'll set this context then the page i want to land on that is the main so i'll call main dot class then i'll end this then i will start the activity i'll start the activity that has been called by the intent okay so this is how our login page is working and actually we are done with the login page so we are left with testing it so i'm going to start my journey motion then we will test it data open so i let's test this app so here is my emulator so let's run this app and see so here is it i click ok then let's wait to see what happens emulator has been started and let's test this app okay so let's enter a wrong username and password details so let's say username john and password john and click login and see password or username incorrect so let's then type in YouTube and then password haha <laughs> and then bravo we've been sent to the next page okay so thank you for watching this tutorial and in the next video we'll be adding more functionalities please subscribe to my channel so that you get all the videos that are coming you don't miss and see you in the next video bye